The debates are Can we say that? Can we say that the presidential debates are a joke? Because they are, they're a circus. And I'll tell you why they're a circus. Because that's what the mainstream media and the press want. They want drama. They want reality TV. They want viral moments. Viral moments. That's what our democracy has come down to, guys. Viral moments. Would you who shut is up, on, man? Listen, who is on your- Do they care that zero policy questions get answered? No. Do they care that the format sucks? No. Do they care that they're hurting democracy at this point? No, because Jeff Zucker and Rupert Murdoch and the Commission for Presidential Debates are all getting rich. Their pockets are getting heavy from all the cash they're making. I mean, who heard of such a thing? Commission for Debates? They suck. Obviously, they should be fired. Well, these debates are awful. Just me? I mean, I have my ballot right here. And I'd love to vote for making the debates suck less. You think that's on the ballot? Making the debates better? That's not on the ballot. Because the mainstream media, the elites, nobody cares. Because the way the debates are right now, they get views. They get ratings. And viewers and ratings make money for cable television. And that's who broadcasts the debates. Cable news. Cable f***ing news. I know cable news. I've been in those newsrooms. Here's me at BuzzFeed. Look at that sweatshirt. Here's me at Bloomberg. Everybody in New York City and in DC loves the debates. You can stay up late, cut up the clips into viral moments and put in provocative headlines and push them out on Instagram and Facebook. And as we debate and comment and share and retweet, they're making money. That commission for the presidential debates even brags about how many viewers they get on their website. It's how shameless they are. The viewership of the presidential debates is significantly greater than any other political programming. We average over a hundred million viewers. How proud they must be that a hundred million people watch 90 minutes of nothing. They're cynical. They know we're gonna get our popcorn, we're gonna sit with our family, we're gonna turn on the television, and then we're gonna laugh. Cause it's hilarious, how can it not be? One of the candidates is literally old man winter. The Democrats, allegedly the party of young hip people, have nominated the oldest man alive. I mean, they got hieroglyphs of Joe Biden. I'm not sure whether he was born in America or Mesopotamia, and I would love to see his recent medical history. I bet you they got him on a cocktail that would make Jack Kennedy jealous. They got some Michael Jackson doctors on that team. What 77 year old do you know that flies around the country during a pandemic, gives speeches, debates with Trump, all without the single assistance of some medical aid? And don't get me started on Trump. <laughs> However you feel about Trump, you gotta admit, he looks like a clown. He's got an orange face, he's got big feet, he's got tiny hands, and he's miming about. And this guy lies about COVID, family, business, masks. He lies more than Pinocchio on crack. I'll give you the vaccine soon. I, uh, the vaccine, I'll uh, give it to you tomorrow. Just uh, give me the votes, guys, give me the votes. The vaccine's coming. Really? And Trump now has COVID. Can't say I'm surprised, but well, get well soon, Mr. President. You look, I mean, I have a mask right here. I put a mask on, you know, when I think I need it. Why are the debates even 90 minutes? Why do cable news anchors moderate the debates? Why are journalists even involved with the debates at all? Am I the only one asking these questions? What are the answers to this? Why do the debates have to be the way they are? You've called women you don't like fat pigs? Dogs, slobs, countless, Only Rosie several. O'Donnell. They suck. We should change them. There's no excuse for them to be the way they are unless the mainstream media and the press and all the people that benefit from them being a circus are making money. They're making money off you and I. You, me, and the American democracy are all suckers for the mainstream media's stupid debates. Is Chris Wallace really the most qualified person to moderate debates? He can't control a room of two people. Two people he can't control. No, oh, I stood good up. No, I, I, you know what, you're wait, not stop. true. You're you're... Doing it. What, he read up on their policies? That makes him qualified? You know how many smart people in America can do research? Get a doctor to ask them about COVID. Get a lawyer, get a judge, get Joe Rogan. Biden and Trump in a room for three hours face to face would be a hell of a lot more informative than whatever we all just collectively watched. And I guarantee what we will continue to watch, it will just be more drama, more reality TV, and more viral moments. Hunter got thrown out of the military, dishonorably discharged. That's not true. For it wasn't dishonorably. Cocaine use. It's a circus because that's the way it was designed to be. The press designed it to be entertaining, not informative. You know who the next debate moderator is? This guy. I don't know what's going on in this world right now. Obama's a Muslim. Seriously? I don't know if you noticed, but both Fox News' Chris Wallace and the New York Times 
both laughed when the debates ended. President Trump, Vice President Biden, it's been an interesting hour and a half. I it was a shit show for the United States of America. <laughs> they laughed because they knew from the beginning the debates were going to be a joke. They knew from the jump because they planned it that way. That's the way the mainstream media press designed the debates. To be hilarious, to be a circus, to be entertaining, not to be informative. We should take back the debates. No more mainstream media, because they obviously cannot be trusted to inform us. Gentlemen, will you say that's the end of it? This is the I end of this debate. Ballot count. We're going to leave it there uh, to be continued. Okay. In more debates, it's